Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your weekly love reading. So it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, try your moon and rising signs. Fish just came out as one of the cards for you. We'll pull another one in a second. Uh, what was I saying? These are not time specific. So you can, it's sort of a case of the, this message is coming out to the universe and when you receive it is the right time for you, whether if it resonates with you. So you can go back to some of the older videos on love in the through the channel if something resonates with you from there. I will also put a timestamp on to if you want to skip the shuffling and just go straight to the reading, which we're pretty much going to just do anyway. <laughs> but it will be in the description box if you want to check that out. So Libra, what have we got for you? What have we got? We've got fish has come out. What's the other card? Lion. Okay. We have fish and lion coming out. I just want to look at these for a second. I feel like you're the lion, Libra, despite the fact that very much looks like a Leo card and the person you're dealing with is fish. So I feel like you are taking a bit of a stand against this person which they're struggling with emotionally. You might be ignoring them <laughs> or just not speaking to them at this moment in time. It's a case of I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I've seen what I just don't feel any need to talk to you right at this minute. There might be some annoyance under that surface. The other person's done something to annoy you. They're kind of, you know, swimming upstream, <laughs> swimming upstream. They're apologizing, trying to apologize, but I think it's, I think Libra for you, it might be a case of too little, too late. It's too late. But I feel like there's a slight door open here. There's a slight, because the line is still very much engaged and looking at the fish. But I mean, this is fire and water. The lion is a fire from the element of fire and the fish is from the element of water. I think the lion is actually, I mean, I think you're actually realizing that this person is not who you thought they were they've disappointed you somehow is the energy i'm getting here libra they've disappointed you and they know that too so they're trying desperately to make it up to you but i think you're looking at it from a higher perspective here i mean looking out upon this situation and assessing it and going okay i think i finally see this dynamic for what it is and this kind of dynamic of always promising something and not delivering or disappointing me or whatever it is that you're doing, you're always letting me down. I did believe it. I did believe it for a while, but it's happened way too many times now or this has been a particularly bad circumstance of that where it's kind of like your heart has just dropped and it's like part of you is detaching from this now. A part of you is like, I, I don't think I can do this anymore. And, yeah, I think Little Fish is desperate to kind of win back your love or approval, but there's very much a you're not getting anything from me, right, at this second. <laughs> you're not going to get the communication that you're wanting because I'm assessing, I'm thinking, and I, I'm really not sure if I want this anymore. So let's pull some cards out for you, Libra. Let's pull some cards for you in this connection, this person. And like with these love readings, it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, someone that you romantically are connected to. It can be, you know, just a connection, a relationship. So it could be work, it could be animal, child, it could be anything. But I am just keep getting the words, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. So, and sometimes when you come into this reading, you come with an expectation it's going to be about somebody and then it shifts and it's like, I think they're actually talking about, you know, my boss or this friend or my father or not my partner that I was initially hoping for, for whatever reason, there's information about that. This is you. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot. For them, they get the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the strength card. Okay. 
All right, let's start with you, shall we? Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. You're thinking, I think I might just be happy on my own for a while here. I'm looking at scenarios where I can break away. So this could be related to finances as well, to stability in your life. I'm looking at ways where I can nurture some ideas or some things, investments in my life or invest my time and energy so that I'm not feeling stuck, so that I can feel more financially independent here. And so I'm really kind of just trying to really make a change here for myself. I'm trying really, really hard. I'm donning the armor. I am like, I just want to feel like I don't need you. <laughs> but there's a part of you that I think has needed this person. So this is a big shift and a change for you, Libra, that you you need to don your, like get into that, protect yourself a little bit in order to fight this. And it's more of an internal battle of, freeing yourself from a situation where you can just feel independent for them here's the apology here's the but I really do love you and I really do want you in my life I think we could do amazing things together I think we work well together I think you know we've got we've come so far why throw it away now and they're actually biting their mouth about what they really want to say because they might have some other things they're thinking and feeling that they're not saying to you, but they're holding their tongue, they're holding their ego in check because they want, they could very easily turn around and get nasty or just say something bitchy or say something that hurts, but they're withholding that because they want to resolve this, they want a resolution, they want a new beginning, they want you know, this to heal. They want renewal here. So, yeah, they're in a very different space to you. But this is a very genuine apology, I think. This is very genuine, This what they're offering you here. So they genuinely do have love or they genuinely do feel a very strong connection with you. So let's pull a card here. Libra for the message from the universe for this connection. Let's pull a card for this connection. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, there's sometimes these cards are cracking me up. Pause. Yep. It's like I hear what you're saying. I I hear I get that we could work well together. This could work. We've done some good stuff together. I just need a break. I need, there needs to be a pause in this relationship. And I think this is from a message from the universe. And they're not getting that. They're happy to just keep going as it is and just repair things and off we go. Happy as Larry. You're like, no, no, no. This needs a big pause. This needs a break. And then I'm going to reassess. And then I'm going to work out whether I still want to be with you and connect to you. And if I do, then things have got to be a bit different. But very much there, this is the universe or your soul stepping in and just distancing you two for the moment because there's a whole heap of other stuff, going, energies going on that is not related to your connection. So within you, there's all these other things that are happening in your life. There's something bigger. There's a bigger picture here. And same for them. So it's like this is not the right time for you to kind of be together or be connected there needs to be just a, it doesn't mean it's over. It just means there needs to be a pause. And, you know, this is building foundations. It's a f number four here. So it's building foundations, I think, for you, within you, knowing what it is that you want and what you will accept, Libra. And then that in turn is going to build foundation with the relationship with them. But yeah, if this relationship has any chance to succeed, this is what needs to happen. Okay, so let's get a message from the angels. Message from the angels about this. Message from the angels. What message do we have for Libra? Don't stop. So I feel like for that, it's saying keep up this course of action that you're taking because there, there will be temptations. There will be temptations to want to 
I'm th- I'm saying I see this as don't stop the pause, okay? Don't stop the pause. But it's also saying don't stop the connection overall. It is just a pause. But don't stop what it is that you're doing right at this moment. I, I, as I was pull- thinking about this, I was wanting to say, Libra, I think that you're making all the right actions here. You're taking all the right steps for what needs to happen. So, yeah, don't stop doing that. You're doing the right thing here. Okay, so let's pull a message from the universe about, I mean, let's just pull some cards for the outcome of this energy where it stands at this moment. And like I said, these energies and, you know, energies in relationships can shift and turn so quickly. So this is the energy next week. It could be something totally different. So let's just see where we're at with this at this moment in time. Okay, we've got the two of wands. Where am I going to put these? The eight of pentacles and the seven of cups. Okay, I feel like something that might be stopping this from working is that the other person has in their mind too many choices they've too many possibilities in their head running around their them their head there's too many things that they want to be doing they're not focused they're lacking uh, it's just kind of like you're like that's too much that's too much that's too much just you know one thing at a time just one thing at a time and it's just there's a lack of – it's like you they're throwing all this stuff at you and you're like, no, I just need some space and clarity to actually work out what it is that I want to do. And so the way – what I'm getting is the way that you both work very differently. <laughs> you operate very differently in how they're trying to fix and, man- and, and, change, and fix this sort of, I guess, rupture in your relationship and the way you're doing it are two very different things. And so, therefore, I'm not sure if this energy stays as it is that it's going to work that way. And that's why I think we've got the pause. It's not going to just flow and easily find a solution here. That's not what's going to happen. So I feel like you need to go out and do your thing. Just don't pay attention to all the things that they're saying. We could do this. We could do that. We could do that. I've got this idea. I've got that idea. What about this? Just kind of go, no, I'm not listening to that right now. What I need to do is listen to myself and work out what it is that I want to do. And, yeah, I feel like you're – for some of you, you might – you're taking up a new opportunity and leaving one behind, whatever that means to you. So for some of you, it could be you're actually seriously thinking of leaving this one behind, but it's still there. It hasn't gone yet, okay? It's still there in the back of your mind. So like I said, I think you're going to end up still with this space, but I don't think you're going to make a decision about this one straight away. And that's probably what's necessary is you still, I don't think you've got all the information yet. There's still more things to come in, more energies, more information. So it's, yeah, keep it on a pause. I hope that makes sense, Libra. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.